If you guys couldn't tell already, I'm gonna be installing my Rough Country dual stabilizer kit on the Jeep. You might have noticed the vet isn't on the blocks anymore. I went ahead and got some Nankangs for the front wheels, and that way I can drive it. Meanwhile, the wheels are getting refinished. That might take a little bit longer than expected, but that's not a problem now that we got this, and uh, we got some fresh tires in the rear, so we might go sliding sometime this next weekend. Uh, anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jack this thing up and start installing it. Seems to be a relatively easy install uh, with a few simple tools. Should be able to make it happen. I'm gonna start with uh, jacking this car up, taking, I think they want, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. I don't really know exactly where they want me to jack it up from, but my jack stands aren't big enough or tall enough to be able to actually lift up the frame with the tires on and it doesn't say that you have to take off the tires so I'm not going to do that. Um, just says that you need to be able to turn the tires freely which it looks like I'll be able to do even with it like that. Right, they want this thing off. So that one's all attached. The problem we're running into with this one is that these brackets are in the way, so I'm just gonna loosen them up, move them upwards and out of the way, and then tighten them, and then we'll be able to mount this one. And then after we tighten down the shocks, then we should be good. These are up and out of the way now, uh, and now this one is tight. The only thing left to do is tighten up the shock mounts, and then I'm gonna cut this thing off just so that it's out of the way. Uh, I guess the proper way to do it would be to take off the tie rod end and then take that off or just slide it off or whatever, but obviously I don't wanna screw up my alignment because I have to drive this car tomorrow and uh, so I'm just gonna cut it off be very careful not to hit the actual thing itself and uh, we'll be fine I won't need this thing anymore anyways uh, last thing is just to cut this bracket off and then it should be good everything is solid and uh, clearanced as well so that way we'll actually be able to turn all the way. Now let's see if we can bend it with it like that. Nice. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. God damn it. Make another notch. Yeah, but now we have no leverage. You have no leverage. <laughs> there we go. Well, should all be good now. 
All right, well, let's drop this thing on the ground, but as, oh, actually, I'm gonna put the stickers on here. Well, that's pretty awesome. You can see the little rough country thing right there. These things look really cool when they're on the ground too. Makes it look a lot better. Looks pretty awesome. Let's put this thing on the ground. And uh, I'm not really gonna take it for a drive because I don't really care to tonight, but I I'm sure how... I don't think it'll do much. You won't even notice. Yeah, I won't really notice. Maybe a little bit heavier steering, but I'll let you guys know how it is once I do the full review of the four inch long arm lift kit as well, which I've yet to do. And I'll probably do that tomorrow. And uh, I have a little bit of a drive to do in the morning and then I'll be able to tell, you know, how this thing affects everything uh, in addition to the long arm lift kit. Anyways guys, like I said, I'm gonna end up doing a comprehensive review on both the lift and the dual stabilizer kit. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out.